Water scarcity and availability is an important issue for our future. How much have you thought about the water that is always beneath us? Approximately 30% of the world's fresh water is in groundwater aquifers. The U.S. uses approximately 82 billion gallons of groundwater every day for public supply, private use, irrigation, livestock, and many other uses. This accounts for one quarter of total water use in the U.S. There's also a good chance you have drank groundwater, considering 38% of the U.S. population relies on groundwater for their drinking water supply every day. Protecting this water supply from contamination is an important task. A study conducted by the USGS showed one out of every five groundwater samples contained at least one contaminant at a concentration of concern for human health. While a majority of these are naturally occurring contaminants such as arsenic or uranium, a significant portion are from man-made chemicals like PFAS, petroleum compounds, and what my research is focused on, TCE contamination. TCE, or trichloroethylene, is a man-made compound that was mostly used as an industrial degreaser and a dry cleaning compound. Although its use in the U.S. is now heavily restricted, it is still present in many groundwater systems in the U.S. One study found approximately 6% of groundwater samples had presence of TCE, and 14 million Americans are at constant risk from ingesting this TCE in their drinking water supply. It was the main topic in the 1998 film starring John Travolta, A Civil Action, that showed the dangers of TCE contamination and its widespread presence in the U.S. TCE has been linked to birth defects, damage to the brain and nervous system, and increased risk of liver cancer. So it is important we understand how this chemical can be removed from our water supply. TCE is difficult to clean up in groundwater, and it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars per year to maintain contaminated sites. This can add up to tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars to fully clean up some sites. Our research studies how TCE in groundwater can be transformed to its non-toxic byproducts by naturally occurring minerals and microorganisms, specifically where the TCE becomes trapped in slow-moving clay zones. This involves setting up experiments in a lab to mimic and understand what happens to the TCE in these zones so we can build an accurate predictive model of its fate in the ground. The overall goal of our work is to inform contaminated site managers on what steps they need to take to reduce TC contamination to safe levels. Thank you for watching.